We're back again, guys. Probably one of our most requested items is our uh, C8 mid bumper exhaust. Uh, the reason why we don't sell it uh, independently is because there's so much that goes into it. Also the liability with the exhaust going through the trunk. There's just a lot of moving parts uh, with it. So we prefer to do all of these in house. It's uh, super labor intensive, but the end result, as you guys can see, have been really successful. So what I wanted to show you today, we've already got a little bit of preliminary work done uh, on this vehicle. And we're gonna get started with showing you guys a little bit of behind the scenes of what we do to prep before the exhaust portion even goes in the car. Um, so if you look in here, the first thing we do is we always make sure that the uh, access cover will always remain accessible. So when we put the car back together, you'll be able to service this car just like a factory car. So if we remove this, we'll show you guys already the clearancing that has occurred is we've taken out the floor uh, all the way back to the impact bar. And what this will do is this will give us the clearance to run uh, and access all of our exhaust system, bring our X pipe up into the center section here and exit it through the bumper. Now all the behind the scenes stuff is you can already see some of this um, wiring loom has been pulled back. This is traditionally along the whole backside of the inner trunk. What we do is we remove all of that, extend that harness and we run it on the external side. So what we'll do is we'll run a grommeted uh, connection that will come out through here and pass along these exact same uh, wiring loom locations and we'll tie all those in. We also weatherproof everything, uh, heat shrink, make sure everything is just like the factory. What that does then on the inside is it frees it of any wiring, anything behind the carpet, anything near the exhaust that would get in the way. So what we do is re we relocate the release system and the uh, cable guide and it remains fully operational. So there's nothing in there that's going to impede with the exhaust when it runs through. So we're gonna get started on extending that wire loom. You can see we've already done our pass-throughs for the exhaust itself. Once we get that wire loom extended and grommeted, then we're pretty close to taking it to uh, Fab. Brent uh, and I work well together and he's gonna fab up all of our titanium uh, with us over there, kind of giving him some direction along with the uh, trunk enclosure. So I'm ready to get jumping on this. I think stay tuned, you guys are gonna really like the way these come out. Uh, obviously that result looks amazing. Uh, but this is something that we really are excited to show you guys how we kind of do this process. So let's get cut. So we've got our spot marked for our uh, two inch grommet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill through the tub with our hole saw. This will fit all of our connectors through there. And then what we do is we pull them out and run them right along this uh, wire loom. We always have our trusty vacuum nearby because uh, fiberglass uh, itches. We don't wanna make a mess in the shop, especially when Justin's over there PPF and he hates it when I do that. So let's go ahead and Drill this hole. So pretty simple. Now uh, what we'll do is we'll get our file, we'll clean up that edge and then smooth it off really nice so our grommet fits in there perfectly. Install that grommet, pull our wires, start tying things up. So we're getting ready to load up uh, chassis number one or two, however you want to look at it, uh, and take it over to uh, the fab shop. We're going to fab up the exhaust on this, also the box that covers the uh, X-pipe in the back, and then some other goodies that we need to make it work. So we're going to load the car up right now, drive over uh, about a half hour away, unload there, and then we'll catch up with you. Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded, let's go.
over here. Our buddy Brant Higgins, who owns Higgins Marine Metals, is our fab guy. Um, Brant's awesome. We work uh, hand in hand with him putting these exhaust systems together. So we're gonna unload the car, get it in there, catch up with Brant, and uh, get started on this. So this is essentially what we're starting with. We have a, a Fab X pipe that we're gonna alter. Brand's gonna come in here. We've kind of got a plan together on how we're gonna make uh, the titanium work our X pipe flip up. A lot of people ask us that question on how the X pipe actually works. So if you look in here real quick, this X pipe will actually be orientated so that it sets up in about this vicinity. We build a heat shielding box around it and our exhaust vessels will come through here. So the flex pipe, everything remains the same. We'll have some V-band clamps there and uh, make it so it's kind of adjustable, but also rigid at the same time. Uh, and Brant is a master at this stuff. Uh, he'll spend a week working on this stuff. We'll be back and forth with him, making sure we have it dialed in the way that we want. And then once we have that all buttoned up, we'll kind of show you what that looks like before it goes to Cerakoting and when we pick up the car from Brant. All right, guys, so we're back here at Higgins Marine Metals. Uh, Brant is here with us. We're just finishing up uh, the exhaust for this year's SEMA project. Uh, Brant's been instrumental in uh, fabricating all of this stuff and making it work behind the scenes. We always get a bunch of questions of uh, how do you guys make that work? And a lot of it is just thought process between me and Brant and Brant's fabrication skills to make it come to life. So as you can kind of see on the table, Brant's already got uh, some of these link pipes. These actually go on top here and they will v-band clamp uh, right around here and these get clocked they exit through our finishers rift uh, again coming through with the svj tips uh, brand did some alteration on these you can see the brackets that he'll be rewelding on here these will mount to the tub uh, of the back of the car uh, this is a really cool piece the box this will all be heat shielded brand's going to do all the finish welding on it um, and then uh, we'll take the cerakote get it cerakoted this gets installed and really disappears inside the, the trunk of the car. Um, and then this is our wing support piece that goes behind the bumper to uh, tie in four corners uh, when we put on our three-piece wing. Really cool spot. And then this little tab will be a, goes right here, right? right here. It's just a little support piece that will tie in uh, to the carbon structure in the back uh, just to kind of keep this rigid mounted. So again, Brent, killer job we want to say thank you again for helping us out we only have uh three or four more for you so yeah hopefully you'll be ready for yeah. it <laughs> so you guys stay tuned you'll be seeing more brand when we get these things through welding and everything we'll take them to Cerakote you guys will see the final product before we install them on the car and then uh, you'll be able to hear everything as it runs as you heard the first car so let's get the car loaded up over to the body shop now and uh keep it moving the yeah, smell of a good body shop. <laughs> they kind of have these locationally in place, but they still may need some alteration here. So what we've always done in the past is so that you see this bracket system they made in here. 